Hello friends, welcome to the 83rd session of Hybris tutorial. In this session guys, we are going to learn a very important topic and the topic is how to add the external libraries or how to add external jars in SAP Hybris in a particular extension in SAP Hybris. So guys, this topic is used very frequently in Hybris. So in this video guys, we are going to learn where actually we use this concept and how we can actually you know use a external jar in sap hybris so this video is going to be very informative for you and guys i have already uploaded the notes and the code files related to this video on the google drive so you can also get the access to these notes right on the google drive you just have to click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and then you can also request for the access of these SAP hybrid nodes okay so guys this is a demo video in which we have explained the functional concepts related to this video but in case you want to watch the full video you want to watch the full member specific 20 minutes video in which we have explained the end-to-end -end technical concepts related to this topic you can uh, watch this video by clicking on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and then you can also request for the access of this member specific video so you what you just have to do you just have to click on the link which is given in the comment section to watch the full video So before starting anything guys, I just want to show a sample example where I have used the external jars. Then we will learn where we use this concept, right? So guys, if I go in my code, if I go in my code, you can see I have opened the product page controller.java. You can also open your product page controller.java in your code setup. And in case you don't have the hybrid code setup, guys, again, you can click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video. And you can also get the access to the latest software of the hybrid. And then you can also do the setup of hybrid in your local system. Okay, but for now, I have all already the uh, code setup in my system that's why i am able to open this product page controller.java if you see over here guys you can see i have used multiple imports import com dot google dot json uh, right so if you see these imports you will not find these imports in your code setup com dot google dot json dot json you will not be able to find these imports if you try to you know use this or if you try to add this import statement you will not be able to add because you will get the compile time exceptions over here but in my code i am not i am not getting any compile time exception reason is i have imported the external json library how uh, how i am saying because if you see this is the this product page controller dot java if you see over here you can see this is present in the training storefront right training storefront extension okay and if i show you the lib folder so you can see here we have the lib folder and if you see over here i have the multiple jars if you see in your project code setup you will not find these jars but i have added these jars so you can see here here I have this JSON 2.8.9. jar, right? So I have this uh, jar library. That's why I am able to, you know, use this import statement. But do you think that this is the right way that if I directly add the jar file over here, do you think this is the right way? No, this is not the right way. There is a standard procedure through which you can, you know, import any external libraries in Hybris. That is what we are going to discuss in this video, right? So because of addition of this jar, I am able able to use such type of external libraries tomorrow in your project you might have a requirement that you need to use any other external jar but the procedure is same which i am going to explain you in this video right now we will quickly see where exactly we use this concept right so we are going to see where we are where we use a sample example 
where we use the concept of adding the external libraries in SAP Hybris. So guys, when you are integrating your application, so where you are using, when you are integrating your Hybris application with any other third party system, right? So to use the third party APIs, there you need the third party libraries right only then you will be able to use the third party apis so in such scenarios we basically need to add the external libraries right we need to add the external libraries in our hybris application and to add those external libraries in hybris application we use this concept for example guys as i showed you in my code here in the live folder you can see i have this this okio.jar file so where actually we use this jar file this jar file we use to you know make the connection between the hybris application and open ai or chat gpt so i'm just giving you one example right so to make a connection with hybris and to with chat gpt we use this okio.jar file right and this jar file is not given to us by hybris out of box you have to add this jar only then you will be able to you know make a connection between the hybris and chat gpt so i hope now you understand right where exactly we use the external jars or where exactly we use the external libraries right if i show you now how we can add this right in our traditional project in our traditional java projects guys if we need to use any external jar right for example guys i have this external libraries uh, access example in java right so i'm showing you the java code not, not the hybris code right so here if you see guys you can see here i am using this external you know okay uh, library right in my code so how i am able to you know uh, able to use this external library reason is in my java project so this is basically a maven project in my java project guys you can see here i have a one file pom.xml file right so in this pom.xml file i have given the maven dependencies of the oaken libraries so over here guys if you see i have used the external you know maven dependencies of the oaken library that is why because of addition of this dependency in the pom.xml file right i am able to you know use this okin http client library right so i hope now you understand how we do this in our traditional maven project right but now how we will use this or how we can use this concept in in sap hybris because if i go in my hybris code this is my hybris code right here you can see i am using this json library this is also external library right Right, which is not given to us by hybris out of box and if i search in my code right in my extension let's say training storefront extension you will see that we don't have any pom.xml file right so where exactly or in which file exactly we will add that maven dependency so that i will tell you in this video so if we don't have any pom.xml where exactly we use or where exactly we add the you know maven dependencies like we used to add in our you know uh, in our maven project here we have the pom.xml and here we are uh, you know here we are adding this maven dependency so such type of maven dependency where exactly we will use or what type of configurations we need to you know do to uh, basically build our project right so you can see guys if i go in my hybris project right here like this is the training storefront extension right so this product page controller dot java is present in the training storefront extension and here only you can see i have you know added this json library so how this library was added
सो गाइज इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज शेयर दिस चैनल विद योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग बाई